Welcome to this Mac 7 tutorial number 12. Max Control 2. Boom, boom. Chick, chick. Yes, remember tutorial 11 when we built this fabulous machine? This is our somewhat. Um, rudimentary rhythm machine and um, that's pretty great we've got four presets the question is could we do more and the answer inevitably is yes we could um, remember when we were looking at this fabulous uh, control matrix object Ah, that's not the control matrix. That is our invisible slider that lays over the top of the control matrix. Matrix control. I'm sorry, I'm speaking backwards today. Here is our matrix control, which was underneath the slider there. And remember when we had, um, well, we'll just do it, option clicked on it and seen the dial mode version of it. And I have to admit, it just got me thinking, you know, with all of that variation, couldn't we somehow use that to, to enhance our rhythm machine and be able to then perhaps control volume or something like that? Couldn't we make a deluxe version of this rhythm machine? Now, in my usual way of doing things, I would simply copy this thing and stick it right into our um, into our patcher. However, um, we had modified our uh, matrix control to be 16 long and that one's only 8 and I just know it'll screw up the image. So I'm just going to go ahead I'm going to give a little zoom here so we can look at our matrix control closely. So let's Click on our matrix control and look at the inspector over here. That's push the I here if you haven't already done it. And what we want to do is change it to dial mode. So right over here, as you can probably see, is dial mode. And we're going to turn that on. But now we have to do something else. We're going to come down to the bottom here. Oh. Come on, I gotta zoom back. I gotta zoom. Why is it going backwards? No, 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 stop. There we go. Wow, I thought we were gonna actually go inside of the TV or something. Okay, and we need to change the cell range. And each one of these they considered a cell, and in this case it's either on or off, which is a uh, range of two. But what we need for MIDI, as you will someday know, is 2 to the square root of 7, 128. That's right. We need a range of 128 because MIDI always uses 7-bit numbers. Does anybody care about this stuff? I doubt it, but someday you might. So we change it to 128, we set it to dial mode, and we look at this thing and all of a sudden it goes dark. Well, almost dark. There's these little tiny slivers that you can see here. And probably, if we play it right now, it'll still work. Because these slivers represent 1 128th of the circle. So let's just see if it works. It might not. And then again, it might. Yes! still works even though our sliders in the wrong place I'm just gonna leave it there and ignore it but um, oops I'm gonna turn this off but now we have the ability of turning these things I don't know why it's not doing there it goes of turning these things up and giving them a kind of a, a gradient between on and off so this will be a very exciting thing to try using but we also know if we um, if we select them, I'm just going to go down here and click on one so that it selects it. So now it's reporting a 45. This is um, 
I guess about a third of the way around so it's about a third of 128 is more or less 45 well this object we stuck in here is looking for a 1 so we need a new way to do this so what I'm gonna do is just I'm just gonna be bold here I'm just gonna come in here um, unlock the patcher and just delete this whole middle section because we we need a different kind of object here so delete what we need is something that will send two notes now down to make note because make note has a pitch in and also a velocity in which is another way in MIDI talk of saying volume so this is when we get our note whatever note we decide it's going to be we're going to want that note first we're going to want a velocity note a velocity number then we're going to want a pitch number and the object to do this with is called pack and so let's type an n and type um, p a k actually you know it's pock pock they pronounce it pock at cycling 74 i always forget pack is p a c k pock is is P A K. So here's POC. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even say it without. And before we used to be using the uh, number 40, the MIDI uh, pitch number 40, and it got us some kind of snare drum or something. And then we're just going to type a zero in here for the next uh, number. And what this will do is the nice thing about POC, which is different than PACK, is that if you send a number anywhere, left or right inlet, it will send out the, this pair of numbers with whatever you changed as well. So, and also a nice thing to know about MAX is when, oh, this is hard to explain, but I'm just going to do it quickly. If you have two, if you're sending two numbers, you can send them just down one line and it will automatically say one number goes here and one number goes here and it'll put them usually in the right order. Um, there is another object that'll break this back apart called unpack and then it would put them in the right place but we need this to happen and I'll tell you why because what's going to come through here well in this case a 45 but a number is going to come in here it's going to come out here and we are going to want it to go in here and be the velocity number which will end up over here by the magic of sort of teleportation here um, and the 40 will come out unless we put a different number in here and if we put a different number in here it'll spit out both these numbers as well so let's just move that over and leave it there and then let's uh option click on this and make one for each one of these output sets <clears throat> listen to me output sets um, and they all have to be hooked to the same place the exact same place make note and the make note in MIDI makes notes out of pitch and velocity but we're gonna come back over here and edit this and make um, I believe before we had this one was 50 this one was 60, and this one was 70. And then the output of this number comes down here, goes over here, goes down there, this comes down here, goes down here, comes down there, comes down here, goes over there, comes down here. And now, if we have done this all correctly, we should be able to start making new, much more nuanced rhythms on our uh, new machine. So uh, actually, I'll even put the, uh, the slider back over it so that we can enjoy the beat. And it also helps you see what you're doing. Whoops, there we go. And I'm going to lock it and start. Right, so we've got tom-toms here. Boom, boom. And then let's see what we got here. Just pull that up. 
Oh, this is the one that is the the little I like it. All right. Hey, let's save that as rhythm number 1 now. Shift click on 1. There we go. So, um we could uh do a whole bunch of different versions of this, but I'm also thinking that there's another control we can add that's staring us right in the face. And uh, I'm just going to turn that down a little bit there. And that's right down here, this number, 40, 50, 60, and 70. We can change those and we can access different drum machines, uh, uh, different drum notes. So if we had 41 on here, then it wouldn't be whatever snare drum that is. It would be something else. So let's um, go ahead and unlock our patcher. Type the letter N. Type slider. And let's just resize it so that it's cool for, for this thing. Hey, I don't want you to be... There we go. Actually, I'm going to make some room here. That's not going to make any room, but uh, it's okay. And uh, make room down here so I can have a slightly larger slider. They get a little unwieldy when. And let's option click on those and just put one above each one of these. And um, we could put a number box there too so we knew what the heck we were doing, but. That's for you professionals to do later when you're trying to hand in homework that impresses. So let's hear what we get now. I'm going to turn it back up. Oops, I forgot to lock my patcher. Here we go. Oh, I hate that tom. Uh, there's the cowbell. getting good. Now, let's remember that we have this preset up here, so I'm going to once again um, unlock here and connect this preset to each one of these sliders. I'm going to hold the shift key down here and boom, 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 let up off the shift key and there it is. And then I always um, use a command Y to get these kind of out of the way. Sometimes they just don't get out of the way. That's okay. That's terrible. Well, I'll, oop, that wasn't my plan. Hmm. I hate it. I hate it. Messy, messy, messy. I'll redo these another day when I'm not boring you. But, so now we can um, re-click on this, uh, shift click, and we should be able to get those, um, settings. So let's try something that we know is different. Boom, 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 boom. And we can see that that's different and it sounds different. And, uh, round, round. Don't want anything here, just a little. And we'll 
we'll just put them all like full blast at the end there. And full blast here. Now they, they have a different kind of sound to them. And we'll make that number two. And let's see if we get the difference between one and two now. Here's two. And here's number one. All right. And so one final little thing here. Uh, let's learn to use just one more thing. You remember that this, of course, um, you can control from the outside by just sending it a message, right? Uh, I'm going to unlock it and say, and just put a message up here of one and a message of two. Message two, right? And uh, you probably remember this, but if you don't, it's okay. So you can do that, locking the patcher, and now we can just say there's one and there's two. You can see them going back and forth. There's one, there's two. It's nicer to have the push button control, right? Well, we can also use this carry count number to run through this. It just depends on how we could come up with something that would give us the right numbers. Um, there is an object called modulo and what it does is it gives you the remainder so if we have only two settings here we could um, here I'll, I'll, I'll put it up here so that we have some different possibilities and here it is type n and just put in the percent key space and then a and what modulo 2 would do is that it divides this number by 2 and then gives you the remainder once it's divided it by 2. So it would be like 2 remainder 1 or 2 rem remainder uh, 0. Oh, I guess I'd have to put a plus sign in there. Darn it. Well, I'll do that in a second. So, if we wished, we could, every time it goes around and does a carry count, there it goes. But I don't think it'll ever switch back um, because it needs a plus one under here. So I'm going to put another new object, n uh, plus space one. And then we'll actually have the carry count force them to go back and forth. So we'll move this over to here and move this to there. And now when we get a carry count, it goes back and forth. Oh my goodness. And if you were really, really cool, you would put a gate in there that turned that function on and off. But I've showed you the basics of it. Um, we have two possibilities here. If you want this thing to count to four, you can just put if you had four presets, modulo four. Five presets, modulo five. Um, and that's how you would do it. So this, here it is, the super duper improved boom chicka boom chicka drum machine. That is it. I don't think it could get any better, but if somebody can think of a way, I look forward to it. Have a great evening, rock out, and patch well.